I'm sorry, I know some of y'all get spooked when my closet door is open like that, but Ari is currently in there sleeping, so I can't close the door on her. So sorry, but good thing about this is that it's just here for the intro because I realized this morning I, as I was doing a check-in for the last book for this vlog that I never made an intro. So I was like, you know what? I already had my makeup on. I was like, let's sit down and do a quick intro for this. So as you can tell by the title, uh, this vlog is going to be me vlogging, reading the Like Us series by Krista and Becca Ritchie. So it is the second generation spinoff series from the Addicted slash Callaway Sister series. I did a full reading vlog for all 10 of those books last summer so I will link it down below if you want to go ahead and watch that one there are spoilers in that one there are spoilers gonna be in this one I'm really bad at making spoiler free vlogs because I feel like I can't express my full thoughts if I can't give spoilers but obviously they're all romance books so at least you know like that they're all gonna end up happy anyways but I am going to be vlogging the first five books of this series for this video. I went back and forth on if I was going to do all of them that are out. However, there are 11 books currently out for this series and my Callaway Sisters series reading vlog, that one ran over an hour. It was a long time for me. It was a long time for you. And you know, I was like, you know what? Let me just shorten this. I'm just going to do the first five books, do a little taste test, see if I want to keep going. So let me know if you guys want to see me vlogging the next, what, six books in the series. Like if you want me to keep going. Actually, I think the cover reveal is going up for the 12th book maybe today. I don't know. It's a lot of freaking books, y'all. For this video in particular, I'm going to be vlogging these five. They're kind of out of order. So you're going to start seeing Damaged Like Us. This is Mafia and Pharaoh's first book it is Lillian Lowe's oldest son and then we have Lovers Like Us which is book two following Mafia and Pharaoh Alphas Like Us which is Mafia and Pharaoh's third book and then we have Jane and Thatcher's book which uh Jane is Rose and Connor's oldest daughter and then Jane and Thatcher's second book which I am currently reading and some of these have post-it notes in because I am taking them to Book Bonanza with me to get Krista and Becca Ritchie to sign them. Very excited for you guys to see it. I don't need to intro anymore. This video is probably already going to be long enough as it is. So take it away, vlogging McKay. I am 223 pages in because like I said, this is the first time that I've decided to start vlogging this book. For context here, I was really going back and forth and if, on if I was even going to vlog these books at all. So that's why I don't have very many check-ins for this first book because it took me a while to go full send on it. So this first book is going to be lacking in early check-ins, but it's fine because you know what? I'm loving it. So this one falls Moffy, who is uh, Lillian Lowe's oldest son. And obviously we saw him be born or like them get pregnant with him in Thrive and then obviously be born and now he has a bunch of siblings. But anyways, all that aside, we now have his book and I'm really enjoying this. And I think the premise of all of these books are that they're all their bodyguards. It's all the kids and their bodyguards. So it's Mafia with his bodyguard, Pharaoh, who's he's had a crush on since he was a teenager. And Pharaoh actually used to guard Lily. But then when Mafia's security guard retired that security guard bodyguard retired Pharaoh got moved to his detail and I'm just really liking it the tension that was brewing from the beginning of these two was really good I really like the inclusion of the like you see the parents every now and then I like that I really love some of the look at the other kids so far obviously Jane I am just so excited for her she's Connor and Rose's daughter Connor and Rose are my favorite if you didn't watch my addicted vlog Connor and Rose are my superior Callaway slash Cobalt couple and yeah, they're just supreme in all ways. And I'm very excited to get to Jane's book. And Jane and Thatcher just had their first interaction. And I do know that that's who she ends up being with. So obviously I'm very excited for that book. But with Mafia and Pharaoh so far, I'm just really enjoying their dynamic. I like that they have to keep it a secret. I like Mafia and how he really is like this rock and this pillar in his family, especially with all of his cousins and siblings. Like everyone kind of turns to, turns to him for help and he always wants to help. Like he could just can't stand by and see people struggle at all and I really like that about him and he really struggles accepting then help from Pharaoh so that kind of like introduces an interesting dynamic between the two of them and just overall I'm really enjoying it I think it's giving me all the kind of like the the feels in here because like being back with this family and in this world it like it feels just I don't know it's very comforting to me I will say I did come into this series with lower expectations because I've heard that like this series is not as good or not as popular as the other one but so far, I'd say so far, so far, so good. Also, I remember why I wanted to pick up the camera in the first place was because it was just the scene where someone threw a baseball into their window when they were having a party and then some of the cats got outside. 
First of all, biggest nightmare in my entire life is my cats getting out because they are indoor cats. They do not know how to survive outside. And then him and Jane running after them, I would do the same. And also the fact that Jane has six cats. Like, I, I, she's going to be my favorite. It's, it's just right there for me. It's all laid out. Connor and Rose's daughter, and she has six cats. Like, no competition. Sorry to all the other kids, but Jane's going to be where it's at for me. I'm calling it now. Okay, I think I've finally dedicated myself to doing a vlog for this, but I'm feeling very motivated to keep going with the series. So I finished Damaged Like Us now a while ago, maybe like three or four weeks ago. Overall, I just have to say that I loved that book. I ended up giving it four and a half stars out of five, but I did round it down to four. It wasn't a full five for me. I still really enjoyed everything about it. The ending, I totally did not see that coming about there being incest rumors between Jane and Moffy and then not only that but then the parents jumping in on that and like questioning it y'all you you've seen what the media did to all of you I spent 10 books seeing what the media did to you all and now you're gonna turn around and believe that that quickly no no so I was just really shocked by that and now a good chunk of this first book so now how far am I I'm not that far in lovers like us in book two I am on chapter 11 page 102 and I'm really enjoying this one so far I really like the concept of them going on this tour and having that like forced proximity especially now seeing how because obviously at the end of the book it came out between the family and the rest of the bodyguards that Moffy and Pharaoh are dating, obviously they've kept it hidden from the public and they're really trying to. So I'm liking that aspect of it, of them being out within like their family, but not with the public yet. And kind of like having that sense of secrecy, but also still having like being able to be a little bit more public with it, with the rest of the security and the family. And also specifically seeing how that is going to play in on this tour bus kind of situation. I really like the forced proximity of all of the cousins together with their security guards especially Jane and Thatcher. The more I see the two of those characters, the more I'm just so excited to get to book four because I'm very <laughs> excited to see her story and also get more of Thatcher, but from like a POV that actually likes him because Mafia and Pharaoh don't really like him that much. I also just, again, really love how protective Mafia is of everyone and how like he almost has to then let Pharaoh be protective of him and turn how that's not like the easiest thing for him. And you just see how much his siblings and cousins really like look to him. Like he really is a leader among all of them and I really like that um minus what we've gotten a little bit of, is it Charlie one of Connor and Rose's twins that seems to really beef hard with Moffy and I'm interested to see if that's going to play out in like these later books or if Charlie's getting his own book and if we'll see why because so far we don't really understand like why he hates Moffy so much the thing that I'm picking up about the series is once again it's just so immersive it's very dramatic it's very character driven these characters they just feel like real people like the way that they almost talk to you sometimes and the way that they talk to each other their interactions I just there's something about Krista and Becca Ritchie's writing that just like really pulls me in and I really enjoy it a lot I'm definitely still I'm getting that same vibe that I got from the original series in here so I'm just really enjoying honestly like I don't really have anything negative to say is that a boring vlog so far that I haven't really had anything negative to say maybe but I mean that's just how I feel I don't really have anything negative to say about any of them because so far I'm just enjoying it okay I had to move in here for my check-in because my robo vacuum just started and it's not like that loud but it's a little loud for a check-in oh my book's out in the living room okay I'm inserting a picture here I just crossed over like the 200 page mark in lovers like us and I'm still really liking it I'm making slow progress in this one I've had like book club books and other books to be reading and two I just read paperbacks so much slower than ebooks in the past 200 pages the things that I've really liked so far are two main things one the camaraderie among the bodyguards and like the friendship of that and I I like that we've been seeing that more in the first book we saw a lot of how Moffy interacts with his family members but we've kind of like established who Moffy is and like how he cares about his family so honestly like we didn't really need like obviously I like seeing this like the sibling stuff and the cousin stuff however I really like seeing Pharaoh and how he interacts with the bodyguards and also how the bodyguards also interact with Moffy like they just went out to a bar and they were all like having drinks together and stuff and it was just like fun they were playing like a drinking game 
And the second thing that I'm really enjoying about this one is the stalker. Not like, I mean, is it a stalker? It's like the Instagram account that is threatening Moffy. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. They've done their first comic, or they've done two. So the one, like the lights went out and like, they had to cancel it basically and then the second one at the Q&A panel with him and Charlie going at it I'm just like I'm hoping that the payoff of this like hatred that seems to run between Mafi and Charlie is going to actually like be worth it you know there's nothing more that I hate when like there's a rivalry between two characters and then you find out what it is and I'm like y'all were putting in all that effort for that like it better be something serious here so that's one thing that I'm looking forward to like finding that out but with the whole Instagram account like photoshopping Moffy dead and like brutally murdered at these places like I'm very <laughs> intrigued on who this is and I've been trying to like figure out if I have any guesses honestly I can't like think of anyone that we've been introduced to like side characters that it might be the only person that I can think of which I don't think it is because that would be too obvious is Charlie and now we know that we think it's someone close because now they've like predicted the next two locations of the tour and like that's not public knowledge so they're like it has to be someone on the inside or someone who like Ha can have access to that information so Charlie is literally the only person that I can think of but I don't foresee him putting in this much he seems like a very low effort kind of person and I don't really see him putting in the effort of like this big photoshop deal of this account and also like there's a difference between not getting along with your cousin and like photoshopping brutally murdered pictures of them I don't know but I mean he is a cobalt so he's got to have some dedication inside of him I don't know Aria and I are chilling oh is my show still playing I meant to pause it Aria and I are just chilling but okay I don't know how much I've read since the last check-in but one thing that I just wanted to say is that I notice in all I'm just gonna set it right there look perfect i've noticed in all of chris and becca ritchie's books that while they're very character driven and like they don't always have like the most plot especially like because the couple is never really fighting that much you know like i really like that the characters don't just like break up unnecessarily all the time like they sometimes do in other books or even like they very rarely ever even have like third act breakups kind of like once a couple decides to get together like they are together and they're strong and they're facing everything together and i really love that but sometimes i feel like that could almost then be like well what's the conflict they're never there's always like external stuff going on that even if the couple's solid you still feel like you're getting a fun story and like that the story is worth it even if they're already together the fun things like doing the santa stripper contest or whatever on the bus like that's fun and then moffy accidentally getting high moffy jane and Sully all accidentally getting high and it's like just these little like shenanigans that come into play while we still have more serious plots like the stalker that just make it over all fun and compelling to read even if certain things like Mafia and Pharaoh are like a certain thing you know like they're never really beefing they're not gonna like just randomly I hope they don't just randomly break up but do you know what I mean it's just enjoyable I'm enjoying my time hello uh I just realized as I was sitting here working on a project that I didn't check in about Lovers Like Us and I finished yesterday. So let me check in super quick. I ended up giving this one five stars. I really loved this book a lot. Mafi and Pharaoh just really have like my heart. I would fight for them. And I don't know what it is about Krista Becca Ritchie's writing when they're writing couples that I'm always like, I would go to bat for these two, you know? Like that's how I feel about Mafia and Pharaoh. Okay, so we finally found out who Mafia's stalker was, which ended up being, was his name Nate, which was Jane's like friends with benefits dude. And like obviously she had been texting him from tour, so that's how he like knew. I don't know. I feel like that was like, I guess, but also, I don't know. It was fine. It was just kind of like, I don't really care and he was like done with really quickly but I did like seeing Pharaoh get all like protective because like we love that and I like when he's able to be a bodyguard in the moment you know and his like bodyguard training kind of takes over but then he's got that like feral anger underneath him because it's his boyfriend as well anyways I really enjoyed this one and I liked the conversation that Charlie and Mafi had and how Charlie just told him you know like it's so hard living in your shadow like not only am I living in the shadow of all of our parents but then also like your shadow of being like the golden oldest boy in the family like 
child in the family besides Jane and I guess like that's a legitimate enough reason and now he's like I don't hate you I hate who I am and who I become around you because of like his own insecurities and feelings so I actually like that I feel like that's legit and them also like going public right at the end of it Bitch, I'm so excited to see how that plays out. Overall, this is my favorite so far. I love these two and I'm a ride or die. But so far, so good. And also I did really like the little bits that we got of the parents again. We haven't been getting a ton of them lately, but at least we did see that Lily and Lo are willing to come around with Pharaoh. Like, I mean, they like him. It's just more that like he broke their trust, which I get it. And I like to see the steps being taken to like mend that whole relationship as well. Okay, I had to take a little bit of a break to eat lunch quick, but, oh, why is the bookmark at the bottom? That bothers me, whatever. This book in 87 pages has already had me smiling. Like I don't smile when I read books. I don't like outwardly react a lot when I read books, but I have been legitimately smiling at this book. I have been swooning over Mafia and Pharaoh, and I have been crying already in, eight, in under 100 pages. This book has already sent me through that many emotions. I don't know what it is about the way, especially the way that uh, Pharaoh's character is written, like his casual, cool confidence, the way he's always like leaning on things, popping gum, like just casually going about life and just being like so sexy. And then how like Mafi is so attracted to him and how Mafi too, especially when he always calls him his wolf scout, bitch. I will fight anyone for these two. I am so obsessed with this couple. I'm so obsessed with this world. I will never get sick of it. I'm just like, this has been the book so far that right from the beginning here, it is giving me that same feeling that I got with the Addicted Calloway Sisters series, especially in like those final books and like the last five books where I was just like, I'm so obsessed with these characters and I will like fight to the death for them. And like, I feel like I know them as people. That's how I'm already feeling about this book. I feel like it's going to be my favorite of the three that I've read so far. And I just like, I can't even express how much I'm already just loving it. Um, okay, I don't really know what to think about the auction with the like porn star apparently bidding on Mafi. I don't really know what that's about. Interesting to see, I guess. But my favorite part so far has been the car and the accident that they all got in and watching Pharaoh have to like triage because the ambulance was not gonna get there in time and have to like rely back on his medical training to save Mafia. And like, if he wouldn't have had that, like Mafia would have died. And just like the fact that he saved his life. We love that. And then also the fact that his ex shows up and is apparently Mafia's doctor or maybe gonna be the one to give him surgery. <gasps> Very much looking forward to that little addition in here as well. So anyways, I'm already loving the hell out of this book and I just can't wait. I don't, it's Sunday. I don't really have anything to do. Well, I do have some stuff to do. I have some work that I've been like keeping myself pretty strict on for a project. But besides that, I don't think I'm doing anything else today. I think you will just see me in this comfy, just reading this all day with the kitties. We got Aria right there curled up and we got Dorian right here. Like... This is us for the day. Okay, so I stayed up way, sorry if you can hear my air fryer in the background, it's my lunch break. So I'm just making some chicken nugs really quick because it is so, okay, it looks bright out. It's so gloomy and disgusting here. It's literally the worst weather ever. So you know what? I'm just feeling like chicken nugs for lunch, something like comforting. But I stayed up way too late last night reading Alphas Like Us because I'm so obsessed and I can't get enough of it. So also, I don't know if these chips are available nationwide, but if you live in Wisconsin in the Midwest, these chips are the best. I haven't had a single flop of a flavor. Parmesan Ranch are my favorite. Pickled jalapeno is great too. The onion, black pepper, and sea salt ones are amazing. They have a cherry barbecue one that is fantastic. So anyways, that's just my little plug for those chips really fast. I am really, really enjoying this one so much. I think this is going to be my favorite out of the three. So far, I've loved seeing Mafi recovering from the car accident and how he's really having to like slow down, but he just doesn't know how to like do that. And the interesting thing about this one is that Pharaoh's going back into medicine, which I don't know, I get it. Like I, I, I get it, 
But also I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know. I feel like we just spent the first two books of him being like, I felt like 100% confident in my decision to leave. And I guess now, you know, he's ready to go back. And I am glad that he's doing it for himself and not for his dad. But I don't know. I'm just interested to see how that changes like their relationship. But maybe now, you know, they can just be like, boyfriends and they don't have to be like bodyguard at all also i still hope the pharaoh still really has that like protective instinct over mafi and i feel like that will continue especially with them both now being in the public eye more and having to deal with like paparazzi like mafi's always had to deal with that and pharaoh has too but never like directed at him and at their relationship so i'm interested to see how that plays out i passed like the 200 page mark last night and this book like is a little bit over uh 400 pages but i just like i don't i already don't want it to be over i don't want to say goodbye to them like i obviously know we'll still like see them but i just like i would throw hands i would do anything for these two to have peace and to have love and to have happiness in their life no matter like what that brings also why was it so freaking hot when pharaoh like kind of hot boxed Moffy? that was hot loved that pharaoh's just so fucking cool i'm obsessed with him i feel like a librarian every time after i film a video like coming back out here to restock my books back on my shelf that i pulled off for videos let's talk about this one in particular though so i finished alphas like us last night and <laughs> this was so good so good. I ended up giving this one five stars. I couldn't give it anything less than that because I thoroughly enjoyed every single moment of this book and I never wanted to put it down. And I think that's clear because the other ones, the other ones have taken me a little bit longer to read. Also with paperbacks, you know, I feel like they tend to take me longer. This one I finished in two days because I just like, I couldn't stop. Oh, my bookmark's still in here because I just couldn't stop. And I would read a million more books following Mafia and Pharaoh. Like I love them so much. They're pro them both proposing to each other. Shut up. Shut up. That was so cute. I love that. And then how they're like, we'll wear our rings that we got each other. And then on our wedding day, we'll like swap them. Shut up. I'm so obsessed with these two. I just really enjoyed so many aspects of this book. Like there really wasn't anything that I didn't like. Um, and I also love that at the end, Pharaoh was back on Mafi's bodyguard duty. And a part of me with his whole like medical journey, like him going back, like him quitting security, going back to medicine, quitting medicine and going back to security all happening in one book. I almost wish that that like maybe he was quitting medicine or quitting security and like at the end of the last one and was like back into medicine all in this one. But I do get it because it was a lot about like his newfound fame of being Mothy's boyfriend that got him all of that attention kind of made it really difficult for him to just do his job and I'm glad that he can do both I'm glad that he can be like the concierge doctor but also be Mafi's bodyguard because I just I still love that dynamic but I do get why they needed to have that bit of a change you know in this book like I understand why they did it I just maybe wish that it was like also part of the second book and I'm reading this book and when I see most specifically like I still like seeing Rike and Daisy but when I see most specifically Lo and when I see Connor and Rose I get like warm fuzzies like I feel something inside of me seeing those characters and like I get excited to see them again where and obviously I still feel the same way about Lily, Daisy, and Reich, but just not the same level. I feel like that's going to be me when Mafia and Pharaoh are in any of the other books going forward. Like when they pop up a little bit, I'm going to be like, it's them because I just, I just love them so much. So this was a 10 out of 10. This is my favorite book so far in the series. And I'm very excited to jump into Jane's book. I don't know if I'm going to jump in today because I do want to start Snow by Sophie Lark. So I might start that but we'll see. I'm just really excited to keep going on with the series. And I'm really glad that I like started reading them just to begin with, because I remember when I finished um, Addicted Callaway, people were like, oh, the Like Us series isn't good, like whatever, blah, blah, blah. But like, it is, this is good. Like I'm thoroughly enjoying myself. And now I don't know about the other books to come. And there is one that I'm not, I don't really care about. Is it, I saw a head, it's like Jack in one of the bodyguards. I don't really care about them, to be honest. So I don't know about that, but all the kids, I'm very invested in them. And I'm very excited to see where this series keeps going. Okay, I just realized I don't think I ever updated back when I first started Tangled Like Us. So it's actually been a hot second. Also, don't mind. Yeah, that is my leftover. Um 
lunch sitting there just ignore it um but anyways so it's actually been like maybe about a week or so or maybe even a little bit more since i started tangled like us and that's not because i'm not enjoying it at all it's mostly because i haven't had time to like be reading a paperback or like then when i'm tired i just want to like lay in bed and read on my kindle so I am 100 pages into Tangled Like Us, and I am loving this right off the bat. Already the tension between Thatcher and Jane is like next level. They're already like so angsty together, and I'm loving it. And also, I'm really interested in getting more into Thatcher's POV, because so far, we, like Jane, we've seen quite a bit of through Moffy and Pharaoh's lens, and like positive stuff, where with Thatcher, like both of them don't like him. So we don't see the most positive or like I don't think we've seen the best attributes out of Thatcher yet and I'm genuinely excited to see what he's like past the surface and see how he is with Jane specifically because he already feels like very protective towards her obviously because he's her bodyguard but I'm more looking forward to when he's like protective over her because she's like his you know and Jane so far uh so the biggest thing that has happened is that her grandmother put out an ad for eligible men for Jane to like date and obviously it put Jane in like danger because she's then attracted the attention of all these creepy men who like think that she put out an ad for herself and also Jane is still really scarred over her sleeping with the one guy that ended up being Moffy's stalker so she's just like she's not really ready to just let anyone in and Thatcher obviously isn't very happy with the ad either and so far so good I will just say that I am I'm really liking both of these characters and already I just feel like it's gonna be so angsty and I just feel like they are going to deliver on the steam when it's time for that so anyways very excited to jump back in it's only fair that Miss Ren makes a little cameo right especially when we're talking about Tangled Like Us I don't feel like going to go grab my copy so I'll put a picture in here but I think I'm over the 300 page mark I like have around 100 pages left in it but I genuinely also sorry if you can hear mowing outside my neighbor's mowing and there's nothing I can do about it actually two neighbors are mowing right now I don't want it to be over I do think I'm going to finish tonight probably I might be up a little late finishing it but I just like I don't want it to be done so I almost want to drag it out but at the same time I don't want to because it's just so good probably be a boring check-in because I don't know how to put this but do you know when you just get that feeling when you're reading a book and you just know it's going to be one of your top books of the year that's what I'm getting with this one um I love everything about this book I love everything about Jane and Thatcher and their relationship when they went to like so they're fake dating at this point and when they went to that inn in order to have people like overhearing that like they were staying because they're trying to like leak it to the press without like them making a formal statement or they were at the time and then when they had to like fake hook up with each other and then that turned into a real hookup are you joking me that scene was incredible Thatcher is god tier he's a god tier book boyfriend y'all like I would go to bat for Thatcher do you want to say hi too say hi you handsome boy I wish I also had six cats um but I only have my two beans for right now but I strive to be like Jane one day and have six and have a man who loves and knows all of them just as much as I do okay so basically now obviously they're like together but they are like really into like they're fake dating in public but they're like real hooking up in private and they're obviously trying to keep it so that that way like security doesn't know because they're not like allowed to be doing <laughs> any of what they're actually doing and it's so good i love the sneaking around the tension that that creates and the angst it creates between the two of them and this one dude just showed up at the gym who is going to be a new bodyguard which i'm already just like i don't like this character but we'll see but he disrespected jane in that moment and i mean jane obviously can stand up for herself and thatcher definitely did let her do that but the way that he was like and if you knew my type you'd know that she's sitting standing right next to me and like he obviously can't declare his love for her in front of everyone but that's like as close as he could get and oh my god i was eating it up as much as jane was this man is so freaking sexy i'm obsessed with him and i love how much he loves jane and all of her like quirkiness and although i don't know she's not really even like quirky i'd say it's more like her style is just like different and he just like loves everything about her and i just love that and i i genuinely i don't even know what else to say i am just literally 
eating this book up and it's going to be a top book of me for this year. Like I loved Elf is Like Us and that one still is probably gonna be a top book of the series as well for me. But I'm thinking like this one is going to be like my favorite. You know, like Kiss the Sky was my favorite. This is gonna be my favorite. And then probably like Elf is Like Us is gonna be like Hot House Flower, my second favorite, but like this is the it one. This is the it one. Okay, so I finished tangled like us ma'am excuse me please don't set up right there thank you so much thank you so much for your help so anyways i finished tangled like us probably like a couple hours ago now so i've had a little bit of time to sit aria thank you so much once again anyways and i absolutely loved it like a million out of five star <laughs> dorian back up like a million out of five stars. Um, I am obsessed. I loved everything about that book, but okay, let's get a little more specific. Okay, so things that at the end, I don't think I touched on in the previous check-in. I don't know if I had read it at this point, but Luna and Donnelly, which I think I had known that they were getting books because I think aren't they the ones getting like the next books that Chris and Becca Ritchie are writing right now like they're writing their books right now I think so I am very excited for them I did not expect to like see them like kind of not like obviously together together but them like hooking up a little bit I did not expect to get that so I really liked that part and just that so many of these bodyguards I mean I know that's the premise of the story but I really love just the bodyguard dynamic that they all have um and I'm interested to see like more consequences going forward because obviously so the other thing that I really liked at the end was that Thatcher stood up and was like prepared to leave his job because he loved Jane and he like was ready to declare his love for her and that he was not going to like let his job get in the way of them being happy and being together and then he stood up to the leads I like that and then I liked that he was able to end up keep being his job but yet he transferred to um xander's detail but i am interested to see how that goes because they said like 24 7 and like then if he's 24 7 with xander like how is he going to be able to spend any time with jane and then secondly i am very much looking forward to seeing rose and connor because even though they seem to like maybe have an inkling at that family dinner we didn't really get much of a reaction at all and I am interested to just see how they do react when they find out that like Thatcher has been <laughs> hooking up with Jane when they weren't supposed to be. Only Okay, the only weird thing about the book, I thought that dinner was weird. I did not understand what was like going on. <laughs> I was kind of like, what are we doing here? Like vibes, because I just love any time that we get to be with the Cobalts. But I was like, I don't really get this whole like dinner and everyone being like so dramatic and extra. But like, okay, whatever. I am looking forward to, I guess, hopefully seeing Thatcher kind of like being a part of the family a little bit more in the next book. Kind of like how Pharaoh had to do with Moffy's siblings and with Lily and Lo. And the other thing that at the end of the book that has me like excited, but also like annoyed in the second book, because I just want Thatcher to beat this guy's ass. And it's um, Tony, the like other bodyguard that slept, that like Thatcher has a history with, that slept with Thatcher's high school girlfriend. And that now, oh my God, how do you open this? And is now going to be protecting Jane. Cause like Jane very clearly does not trust Tony. And I don't even think it's just because of Thatcher like passing off any of his stuff. I think like inherently, J Jane is a very smart person. And I think she inherently knows that Tony is not like a good guy and not someone that she's going to be able to like rely on in these very scary situations that they're often put into. I'm definitely gonna be starting Sinful Like Us tomorrow. Like I can't not jump into it. I'm just so excited to keep going with this series. And I think even though I'm planning, like I'm going to finish the whole series, I think for this vlog, I'm just gonna cap it at the first five books. But anyways, so far, Tangled Like Us, my favorite, going to have been a favorite of the year. Like last year, it was Rose and Connor being my top book of the year. I don't know if this is going to be my top, top book of the year, because it's hard to say. It's only May, but this is definitely, like this series and this book in particular, like I don't see another book passing this one in the series, and I don't see... Yeah, I think it's going to end up like at least...
top three. Okay, last book, first check-in. I don't think I've made another check-in for this book yet. So last book for this vlog, Sinful Like Us, Jane and Thatcher's second book, the fifth book overall. I am already like about halfway through it and it's good. Like I'm enjoying it. It's not like I don't want to like get back into it or that when I'm reading it, I'm like bored, but there's just not really that much happening right now. And Jane and Thatcher's chemistry, like I love these two characters, like I really enjoy them. But overall, there's just like not a whole lot going on and I just feel kind of like bored. And especially because of the fact that they're like together, there's not really like a lot of angst anymore. So I don't know, it's fine. But like Mafia and Pharaoh's second and third books still had so much going on that I never really got bored even though they were already together. Where like this one, I don't know, I'm just kind of like, it's fine. I don't know. It's the first one that's giving me like four star energy right off the bat. So we'll see how things go. They did the brothers, Thatcher and his twin brother Banks, are pulling a twin swap. That's not going to work out, but we'll see. Honestly, like that's kind of why I haven't made a check in yet because I'm just not really like obsessed. Like it's fine, but I also don't really know like what I dislike. I'm just like not really as into it as I have been with the other books. So that's a little bit of a bummer right now. We'll see how things go. Obviously hate Tony. So like I'm ready for him to just like go away. And I will say, I guess the other thing that I'm really excited for is starting to maybe see some of the other potential relationships like Paul and Luna. Very excited for them. Although I think they're like the very last books in the series. Like I have to get through everyone else's books in order to get to them, but I'm really excited about them. And Akara and uh, what's her name? Sully. We've already seen quite a bit of them, but I'm interested to see how Banks fits in with them. Because right now, like, we've seen, like, none of Banks really interacting with Sully that much. So I am intrigued to see where that goes. Oh, little note popping out. Thanks, Caitlin. <laughs> but anyways, um, yeah, so far so good. But just, like, eh, not, like, so good. So far, fine. I'm back in my same spot. <laughs> because I just moved out here to finish reading because I only have like 100 pages. I thought about finishing last night, but it was already like 1030 and I was like, you know what? I don't need to do that to myself. So I'm about to finish now. And okay, so what happened since last time? So they're snowed in now, which like, oh, wish you would have thought about that before the twin swap. Um, Here's the thing. I think that Tony knows and now he's just like goading Thatcher into like exposing that but also when Thatcher knocked him out cold I was like that was hot that was hot thank you also I'm just very excited for Luna and Donnelly's book the more I just see like little cameos of them the more excited I am and also I was pleasantly surprised to turn and see a POV chapter from Banks who I thought that that was so cute of him on him like not like a play date because Xander's like 16 but going along to Xander's friend's house with him to like play this like nerdy game and that Banks sat there and like played with them for so many rounds and then on their way home when Connor ran into them and he had to pretend to be Thatcher like Connor knows a thousand percent Connor knows so I just love seeing any little bits of Connor that I can get I'm honestly kind of disappointed we have barely seen like any of them lately so I would like to see more please four star energy I don't know if anything that could happen at the end would pull it up to five for me it's like a strong four star book I don't hate it by any means like I'm still enjoying it it's just I'm not enjoying it as much as the other books that I've read in the series so we shall see and I probably won't update until I'm like done because like I said I'm so close so close okay it is time for my last check-in I left the book out in my living room and I'm too lazy to go and get it um actually you know what can I prop can we do a prop somehow I don't have good angles to like set this at so you know what we'll just hunch forward a little bit because I don't want to hold it <laughs> for this check-in so I finished Sinful Like Us probably about like an hour ago at this point and overall I really enjoyed it. I would give this one four stars though compared to the rest of the books in the series especially in terms of like if we're ranking the ones that I read for this video like the first five. This one would be at number five. Damage Like Us would be at number four. Lovers Like Us would be at number three, Alphas Like Us at number two, and Tangled Like Us at number one. Although Alphas Like Us is like right there with Tangled Like Us. Like I 
am obsessed with both of those two books. And I just think Pharaoh is just so like effortlessly cool. I love his character and I really love him and Moffy. And then I also love Jane and Thatcher. And I love seeing the ending of their romance. I mean, obviously it's not ending. I'm sure we're going to see glimpses of them in the other books still to come, but I believe that this is the last one of them. And honestly, I'm fine with that. I do think that there just wasn't really a lot that happened in this one, especially like if we're talking about Moffy and Pharaoh's wedding planning, like we could have been even having more of that in this book or like they're snowed in a mountain so I get it like forced proximity but still like even that kind of felt long after a while I don't know I'm just kind of looking back at this book and I'm kind of like what was the point of it overall like I don't really know so I while I enjoyed it it's just definitely my least favorite that I've read of this five so far so I definitely have plans to continue on I think I am going to take a bit of a break I might jump into the sixth book uh because that's Mafia and Pharaohs but then after that I feel like that kind of like wraps up this first chunk of the series and then we get into the other couples later on so I might finish their book up and then take a little bit of a breather because since I'm not trying to vlog all like 11 books for this single vlog I can kind of take my time a little bit more with them but I am really happy that I've read this series and also wait I forgot to touch on the fire I did cry at the fire scene mostly because of Jane's cats because I was like if one of these cats doesn't make it I'm gonna lose my mind which thank goodness I did ask Caitlin from the love library when I started Jane's books about her having so many cats I was like hey I just need a heads up does anything happen to any of these cats and she had said no and she was like there is like a situation where some of them are like unsafe but like they all make it out okay so like I knew but also just like putting myself in that moment with them like that's terrifying <laughs> and like honestly if Thatcher would have died I would have been sad but I would have got over it where if one of the cats would have died I would have been stewing on that for months okay I'm sitting here editing this and I just realized that yesterday I think because I was so like focused on wrapping up the book as a whole that I completely forgot to mention the other thing that I really did like seeing at the end of Tangled Like Us was the fact that Jane wanted to check in with Thatcher and make sure that he was aware that if Mafia and Pharaoh say yes that she would love to be a surrogate for them and help give them children even if that includes like giving them one of her eggs as well to like not only carry their baby but also to like give basically half of herself for that baby and that Thatcher once again was like oh because he's just a gentleman and he's just such a good guy that he was like of course that's so sweet of you to offer and I just really love that full circle moment of seeing in the original series of Rose offering to do that for Daisy with her second daughter but then for Jane to also offer that same incredibly selfless offer to Mafia and Pharaoh. I just thought that that was so sweet and I loved seeing that and very much like a full circle moment between like generations that mm, was just so good. We'll definitely continue on and if you've made it to the end here, I appreciate y'all. So anyways, that's it for today's video and I will see you when I see ya.